The mission of the Foundation is essentially to go to areas, whether it be in deep ocean or, or large lakes of the world, but go to these areas that are hard to get to and make it possible for us to bring back data that is valuable to scientists, to the public, in their understanding of what is there and how we should address it. Last year we decided to design, build, and operate a small ROV system for a project that we had to explore and collect samples in Yellowstone Lake and Yellowstone National Park. The big challenge was we had a very short period of time to do this in. So essentially in less than eight months, we completely designed, built, and operated this new underwater robot called Yogi. What we were looking to do was spend time in an area that was known to have quite a large amount of hydrothermal activity. The thing that really intrigued us was our ability to find and measure thermal vents that were higher than we've ever seen before. You can see the hot water coming out of the bottom and we put temperature probes in these vents and uh, in fact one of them was so hot that we actually melted a plastic cup that was on the end of the probe. I think the highest we saw was about 134 centigrade hotter than we had ever seen before in the lake. The big question that people ask is, what was the key to having such great success under the conditions that you were working with? The success that we enjoyed with Yogi and Annie is all about the people. You know, we have a tremendous team of engineers and we worked with other outside groups that had fabulous engineers and technicians. And, you know, we were thrilled to see the public step up and respond to our call for help through Kickstarter. And I think the, the people that donated understood that what they were donating to was something that they already owned a piece of. And that was the understanding of, of an environment that people treasure. And they want to see us not only understand it, but also make sure that the data is available for people who are responsible for protecting it and thanks to those people for sure. I mean, that was just a wonderful thing to see people step up and say, this is important and we're gonna, we're gonna help. My name's Todd Gregory. I'm a mechanical engineer with the Global Foundation for Ocean Exploration. The thing I like the most about designing these vehicles and designing Yogi in particular was you have to look from the big picture. You have to figure out what the mission of the vehicle is and think about how you're going to use it. We knew that we were going to use Yogi on a rather small boat and so it had to be small, fairly lightweight, but it still had to accomplish all of these scientific objectives that that these massive, huge ROVs and submersibles have been asked to do. So for me, the fun part was the challenge of synthesizing all of that stuff that has to happen in a very small package and make it adaptable as well for future use. So Yogi, being that it's pretty small and has a fair amount of thrust, it's like a little sports car. It has uh, lots of power for, for the size of the vehicle, more thrust than is really necessary. Most ROVs, you don't need to go fast necessarily. You need to have good control and have good control while going slow. The visibility in the water isn't great. You can see maybe 15 feet in front of you. And if you stir up the sediment on the lake bottom, then it's quite a bit worse. And the bathymetry or the topography of the lake bottom is very convoluted. There's holes and there's ridges and there's canyons and you can go into one with Yogi and essentially disappear and you won't see anything around you. So we have a sonar, it's called a scanning sonar that helps us to look for objects, but this multi-beam that we're going to install just for the summer for this field operation is, is going to help us to look out 150 feet away from us without needing our camera to go out there and look for these objects. 
The sampling process last summer, we, we had different dives that, that accomplished different objectives. Some days we were out trying to collect water for geochemists. And then other days we would go out and we would take physical samples, such as small pieces of hydrothermal spires that the geologist could analyze later. And then other types of samples we'd collect were what we call slurp samples with essentially a, a vacuum cleaner. We could go and slurp up bacterial mats off of the vents. So we designed one of the probes on Yogi to uh, take these water samples around the vents. And it was, a, it was a cup shape that would allow the fluid sample to go up into a um, temperature probe and to be collected by a water sampler. And it was made out of a plastic polycarbonate. And we used that so we could see what we were collecting. We hadn't anticipated it, but we found vent fluid hot enough to melt the polycarbonate cup. We set records that day looking for hot vents and we found them. So I've been in the oceanographic field as an engineer and as a pilot for around 15 years. And this was my first time working inland inside of a, a national park. And the scenery is just breathtaking, it's just stunning. To work there for three weeks was an awesome experience. Really, really special. <laughs>